Hello dear friends, welcome to this powerful video. <clears throat> why I am calling this powerful video, you know why? Because you know, I started creating WordPress websites in 2014. And since then I have faced this issue so many times. So this is a very, very uh, common issue in WordPress. Whenever you try to open your website, there has been a critical error on this website. And as soon as you read this message, you get headache. That's a big problem. My website is not running, you know, and what has happened and what would, what would happen if it is not going to work again normally. So that's a big, big tension, right? So yeah, but I have resolved it maybe more than hundred times, but uh, today I'm going to share you, share with you the main reason for this. There has been a critical error on this website. The main reason there is a conflict between your uh, con conflict between your WordPress theme or between the plugins. That is the only reason or that is that is the only reason for this particular error. There has been a critical error on this website, right? So what you have to do is you can go to your file manager through FileZilla or if there is any other way you can use that maybe cpanel but in i'm using for this case this is file manager and this is ftpupload.com this is on that but uh, my hosting service provider godaddy is providing this feature inside the uh, inside their uh, website so when i log into my hosting service provider there is this option called file manager otherwise you can go to this kind of address also so what I have done to resolve this error right now, you can see there is an error on my WordPress website. <coughs> so what I did, I went into the, uh, basically let me go ahead once again. So I went uh, to this section. This is the base. So I clicked on WP content. Then I clicked on plugins. Okay. <clears throat> so first what I did actually, I, uh, let me let me go back once more. Let me go back. So I want to show you each and everything. Okay, so please understand this is a very detailed uh, Session, so let me go back. So what I did first of all I checked if there is a problem with plugins or not So right now you can see my website is not opening Right, so what I did I changed the name of the plugins folder. I renamed it D. So whatever you type with the plugins name it gets deactivated. That's the trick because everywhere in coding they have used the word plugins not plugins d that is why all plugins get deactivated as soon as you rename it so you renamed the plugins plugin it means all the plugins are deactivated now let's go and try to open the website now you can see the website is opening perfectly but the website is opening but without any features the, all the features which plugins were mm, <clears throat> plugins were creating on this website all those features are missing so one thing is clear that there is some problem with plugins. So what I have to do is I will go back and uh, I will reno, uh, rename the plugins folder to the back again, whatever it was originally. Now, if I try to go back and try to open the website, it is still not opening. So this is sure and confirm that there is some problem with the plugins. Got it? This is a detailed tutorial. There is no other tutorial for WordPress. There is a critical error on this website related to this so i thought of creating this in detail right so now uh, one thing is clear that there is some problem with the plugin so what i did bhaiya this is taking time but what i did individually i deactivated all the plugins means i renamed them uh, i renamed them then i put d in the last i put d for all the plugins okay but I mean, this is a time taking process, but you have to do it. You love your website, then you have to do it. So I kept doing, kept doing, you know, actually I deactivated all the plugins and I got this plugin, this particular one plugin that is uh, this one, WP job manager, WC paid listings D one minute. This is not the one. Yeah, this one <clears throat> WP job manager field editor. You can see all other plugins have D in the end D D D. It means all plugins are deactivated, but only this one is left. I deactivated Yoast SEO, WP rocket, WP, WPS hide, all the plugins I deactivated, but nothing worked. Actually, this is one of the most important plugins for me, uh, WP job manager field editor. 
so i never thought or imagined that this will create the issue but actually it is creating the issue so don't imagine that this plugin will not create the issue any plugin can create issue on your website so let's go and rename deactivate this plugin and rename now let me try to open my website so this is perfectly opening so one thing is clear that this plugin is creating the issue so what we can do we can deactivate this plugin okay and once we have updated plugin we can upload that and if that creates like no problem on your website it is fine if it creates problem then it's better keep it deactivated or find some alternative solution hope this video has been very very helpful for you please leave your comments and how this video helped you in the comment section and if you have any other questions related to wordpress please let me know i will be happy to assist you